Okay, in this short video, I'm just going to show you a few basics about working with overlays in Photoshop. I found this fun photo to use for an example for this video on Adobe Stock uh, that you can use any photo you want. You can even snap a picture yourself to recreate your own version of this image. I chose this overlay sampler set because it has 30 different images, um, so you can do a lot of different stuff with it. It's available on design bundles. Um, I'll put a link down in the comments below. But it's got a lot of different stuff like um, rose petals, fireworks, glitter, bubbles, snow, rain. Um, it's, it's a really great variety pack. So if you're looking to, to purchase something that you can use for a lot of different projects, this is really one that I would recommend. Okay, let's get started. Begin by opening up the photo that you want to edit in Photoshop. If you just purchased a new set, you may need to download it and unzip it uh, before you can use it. But once you've done that, just go up to File and click Place Embed, and then go find um, the file that you want to overlay. For this project, I'm going to use some bokeh and glitter overlays. Now, you may notice that a lot of overlay backgrounds actually are black. Um, don't worry about that. That's a simple one-click fix that I'm going to show you how to do. So just pick out the overlay that you want to use for your picture. You can either double click on it or click on it once and then click place and it will embed it into your project. I'm going to leave this first layer a little bit big because I really want to help create the 3D effect that she's blowing that glitter towards the camera. Go over to your layers tab on the right and click on the options. Um, go down to lighten or screen. Depending on the background photo that you're using and the overlay elements that you've chosen, uh, you're probably going to need to play around with it a little bit just to see which option looks best. Remember that to move or resize any of your layers, just select that layer in the right column and then click on Control T. You can stack multiple layers to create the effect you want. To do this, just go back up to File and Place Embed again and add another overlay. Since these are all individual layers, you can edit them all individually as well. So it's possible to um, shrink one layer down or increase the size of another layer. Or if you decide at the end that you don't like one of the overlay layers that you added in, you can just easily delete that one out. So you can see these overlays are really simple to use and can really add some creative elements to your photographs. 